Good morning YouTube, Chris here, the Country Cottage Gardener. Welcome you back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, subscribe. That'd be great. Means a lot to us to see those numbers slowly ticking up. So, regulars might recognise this, this garden here. Done uh, a lot of trimming of this buxus over the years. Various other little videos in and amongst this garden. This beautiful courtyard here. But today, if you hadn't guessed already, we're tackling this pergola. We're doing this before this um, wisteria really kicks into action. Now the clematis above me is actually already greened up and is all thick, so that might be a little bit of a a little bit of jiggery pokery there. But uh, main bit's going to be replacing this anyway. I've got a lot of work to do today, so uh, let's crack on and we'll chat about it along the way. Hope you enjoy the video. okay I feel I've earned a coffee with psychology is that I don't I kind of set myself milestones and goals and whatever throughout jobs and think oh, I'll have a coffee at that, that point and I reached it oh receipt don't want to lose a receipt I try and empty all my pockets when I'm working from the stuff that I don't need because no doubt with gloves on the pencil I want is deep buried it's always a small pencil as well because I've always broken them or lost them anyway I'm rambling let's swing the camera around I'll explain what I've done so far and uh, the procedures that I've had so you'll see I've got these first two timbers up these are six by twos or well, they would have been in old money but these these days these are about what are they 145 um, these are because they actually give the dimensions before they're planed so this is dry grade Canada 24 C24 Canadian grade timbers so it's all been treated the only bits that will need to be treated afterwards are these end grains um, so as you saw from from the, the work so far what I've done is I had to put timber up and then take off all of these above timbers put them onto the one that i put up there especially took that one off so forth so forth backwards and forwards and then marked out where the rebars which are set up in the top and then marked them brought them back down so those timbers have been up there three times at least each in alternating 
you know support so I can keep this up here I wanted to do this one first because this was the easier one rather than this one I'm really not looking forward to this one has got a lot more rust in it as you can see here it's no surprise really that this is the weak point because these are drilled through and I'm doing the same I wasn't going to do the same I was going to take the angle grinder and cut those bars off and put some L brackets on um, but this post when I took it off first time this post was so wobbly I thought I'm just going to go back to the same way and this has actually really strengthened it up and it will even be more stronger when we've got these other uh, timbers going in across as well so there we are that's where we've got so far I'm gonna have my coffee and then we're gonna tackle the top one
Oh right, okay, the picture's probably changed a little bit because the GoPro's died. So I'm just switching over to my mobile phone to finish, which is a bit strange really, because I haven't filmed with my mobile phone for ages, so I expect the volume to be terrible because my phone is really dead. Anyway, as you'll see, I've finished, let's swing the camera around, and we have a chat to finish about the shop. There we are. All finished. I didn't bother filming this one because it was pretty much the same as the other one already. This corner was a real toad to get in. It was a real pest and I'll tell you what, I didn't record it because I had to have some choice words with it. I'd say, come on, sort yourself out. But there we are. All of these have been obviously cut in. This is a bit of a shame that this is like this on here, but uh, it's better this side than it was the other side because the other side has got all the markings on. So it was kind of choose which side, but it's all character. As you can see, we're all mortised in around there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, please do give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch up with another video soon. Thank you very much.